Hey, I'm family travel expert Julia Diamond, and I'm here with you today to talk about cruising with kids. So if you want to hit a lot of destinations in a short amount of time without the hassles of packing and unpacking, cruising is a great choice for families. Here are my top five tips when cruising with kids. We are getting ready to board the ship. The kids are being nuts. They're running all around like lunatics. You know, let the vacation begin. <laughs> Number one, pack a day bag. Once you've checked in and boarded the ship, it can take hours before your luggage actually arrives in your room. So be sure to pack swimsuits, sunscreen, anything your kids might need for the day so you can board the ship and hit the pool. Tip number two, sign up for the kids club and do it early. There are tons of activities. There's scavenger hunts, karaoke, arts and crafts. The kids clubs are complimentary, they're broken down by age, and they're staffed by professional counselors. Register your kids on the first day of the cruise during the open house. This is the best chance for you to ask questions and for the kids to get familiar with the program and start making their new friends all under your supervision. On Royal Caribbean, they give out cell phones that still work at sea. So this way, child care providers can reach you while you're having a good time drinking your pina coladas by the pool. So if you have a baby that's six months or older or a toddler under three, these guys are too young for the kids club. They've got to go to the nursery program, which costs a little extra. I also found that the time slots just filled up really quickly. So if you want your little one in there, be sure to call ahead. Most cruise ships do have life jackets on board, but they don't have swim diapers. So if your baby is still in diapers, be sure to bring those in advance. You don't wanna be spending your vacation you know, looking for diapers. You wanna be enjoying the facilities and being in the pool. Tip number four, pack snacks for the day. If your kids are anything like my kids, they have to eat like every two minutes. So every morning, my new trick was to go to the buffet and I would just steal some snacks for the day. So apples, oranges, cereal, nuts, anything. I'd put them in my backpack. And then if the kids got hungry during the day, say by the pool, I would just whip out my snacks and I could um, you know, make sure they were fed and not hangry without having to go through the long lineups in the buffet. For an additional fee of $7.95, you can order room service. So this is especially great for families who have early morning excursions. They just wanna eat and go and they don't wanna spend time in the restaurant. So after a long day of sightseeing, it's time to get back on the ship. But what about those crowds? They can be terrible. Uh, well, the secret is to start lining up about 30 minutes before the ship actually departs. This way you can spend more time at your destination and avoid those long lineups. So I have to be honest, I'm actually really surprised at how much I loved cruising. I mean, I was the girl in my 20s, like backpacking around the world, riding camels in Jordan, you know, eating strange foods in China. And then flash forward, here I am with my two kids on a cruise ship and I loved it, I loved it. Um, you know, watching the kids full of wonder as they meet their favorite characters, just watching them just love all of the activities. It was such a fun way to interact. We made great memories and cruising just made our family trip so easy. So hopefully some of those travel tips were helpful for you as you plan your next family cruise. For more travel advice and family travel tips, visit my website, juliadiamond.com.